Hey guys, Katira Winfrey here. I'm on River Road in Channel View, and as you can see, the rain is starting to come down. We are on River Road, as I mentioned, and you can look behind me and see just how far that flood water has come down this street. We were here earlier this morning around 6 and 7 o'clock, and from the looks of things, the water has gone up just a little bit more up this road. I can see a little bit farther down there, there's a mailbox that the water has nearly reached the lip of the opening. So if we turn around here, John, if we can take a look at this field. So neighbors in this community told me that the owner bought this property here and was planning on making it a mobile home yard to eventually allow folks to stay here and that they actually just dug it all up to make way for that. But as you can see, that's turned into its own personal lake right there as well. And as you just continue to look around this road down River Road, it's sort of ironic that it's turned into a river with this rain that is continuing to fall. Now, one of these mobile homes right in front of us, John, if we can take a look back at this mobile home again, um, we spoke to the owner there and he said he actually prepared and took most of his belongings to the top of the street because this area constantly floods. And while he did get a lot of his items out, he says there are some things in his property that got wet. A little bit of water actually made it up into his home, but he's still able to get inside. As you can see, he just peeked out of his door. But this is what people say they're used to experiencing here, and it's not fun, but that's kind of the life you choose when you live here. But if you go up the road, that's kind of what people have been doing, taking their things up there. But River Road is also not very far from Meadowbrook Lane. And just yesterday, the Harris County rescue crews had to take their boats into the water, go further into the neighborhood, into Meadowbrook Lane, and they had to rescue 10 people and four dogs. Now, neighbors tell me here that a lot of folks here just don't have a lot of money. So sometimes they choose to just wait and hope for the best. And while sometimes they say the predictions are off, as this time the prediction was not off and a lot of people got caught off guard and ended up needing to be rescued. Some of the people who I spoke to outside of this flooded area, they told me they watched as the Harris County rescue crews came in and they started bringing those people out one by one, bringing those dogs out one by one. While we were standing here this morning, as I mentioned, we've been here since six o'clock, seven o'clock. We were waiting and we saw one person come out in a kayak. He decided to wait for a while and he came out in a kayak and just said he finally had to give it up. He finally had to come out. And with this rain continuing to come down, they are fearful for the people who have not quite had as much water. They say they are fearful of what this additional flow of rain could mean. Will it get into their houses? Right now, this road sits a lot farther down. It sinks down a bit more, so the chances of flooding obviously are higher. But if you have this consistent flow of rain, it could potentially be even worse. But right now, no signs of injuries that we've been told about. But again, with this rain coming down as heavy as it is, who knows what the next couple of hours could bring, but you got to just hope for the best and hope these folks can stick through like they say they've, you, they're used to doing. But we'll continue, of course, to follow all these developments with the flooding around our area here in Channel View, across the Houston area, and bring those to you on our website and on our newscasts.